Okay, in this lesson, I'm going to show you how to do a digital tattoo. And digital tattoos in Photoshop are a lot less painful than real tattoos. And uh, I've got the image open here. This is what I'm going to show you is actually it's my cover that I shot and retouched for the Photoshop user uh, June 2007. Uh, I've shot a few covers over the years in my career, and uh, by far this is my favorite uh, that I've ever done. Uh, not only did I really just absolutely love the image on the cover, but uh, Photoshop users have uh, been my favorite magazine ever since I started reading it back in 2001. So anyway, uh, I got a huge response from this image on the cover. Uh, I got emails, uh, hundreds of emails from dozens of countries all over the world, uh, people telling me how much they like it, and uh, so many people asking me how to do a uh, tattoo like this under the eye. So that's what I'm going to show. I'm going to show you how I did this. I'm not going to use this file, though. I'm going to use a different one. I'm going to use an image that you have uh, in your photos if you want to open up and follow along in your reference photos. It's um, itattoo.tiff. And if you've been doing some of the other lessons with me, you'll recognize this image. Just now it doesn't have the tattoo. So that's what we're going to create. And the first thing I'm going to do is make a new layer, new blank layer, to to create the tattoo on and we'll actually label it tattoo. I'm going to make the tattoo using a custom shape. Let me come a little bit closer to her eye here. I'm going to go down here to my custom shape tool and the custom shape I'm going to use I actually got from Graphic Authority and they have all kinds of uh, brushes, shapes, backgrounds, templates, all kinds of really cool things. A couple of shapes here that I can use and I'm giving them to you as well. They're on your uh, in your downloads folder in the custom shapes folder that you can use and you can actually if you want to load this uh, the shapes up you can and just do the uh, tutorial along with me. I'm going to click this one right here. Um, it's called IV2. It's the second IV and I, these are actually made to be like corners like in, in an image but I'm actually using them as a tattoo. So let me click over here. Now I also need to make sure um, I click on this, th over here in the upper corner, this th third button from the left, the one all the way on the right that says fill pixels. So when I draw this shape out, it's not going to be a vector shape any longer, it's just gonna be uh, pixels. It's gonna be rendered to pixels right away for me. And that's what I need for, for making this tattoo. And, uh, because I have to do some blurring to it and such to make it blend in. So I'm going to click on that button right there. And I want to pick a color that I'm going to use. And I want the color to be really similar to something that's uh, in her makeup already. So let's just change this actually. The, I just clicked on the eyedropper tool. Instead of point sample, sample I'm going to do a 3x3 three three average just so I don't actually to click on a random bit of noise and get a really odd color. So you can see that I've got this now dark purple here down here is my foreground color. So that's the color that I want my custom shape to be. So I'm going to go back here to click on the custom shape tool, the blobbity gingerbread man tool. And I already have the ivy selected that I'm using for the tattoo. That's it there. Okay. And then I'm just going to Start out by using the shift key and holding down and clicking and dragging. And now that I've created it, the shift key just made it stay in proportion. And I'm just going to position it somewhere in there. Okay. Now I'm actually going to, uh, I'm going to uh, bring up free transform, command T. And I'm going to rotate that. position it like that. And while I'm actually in free transform, I want to do something uh, else to this, uh, to these pixels. I'm going to go in here. I just right clicked on the free transform box and I go down here to warp. And I am just going to, this area right here is just going right over her cheekbone. You can see this highlight here on her cheekbone. Uh, that means her cheekbone is curved right there. So I want to make this tattoo curve just a little bit. 
So I'm just going to click on this point right here in warp and just drag that a little bit like that. And that will kind of give the impression that this tattoo is curving around her a little. Doesn't have to be perfect. So I'm just trying to get an overall impression created here. Okay, I'm going to double click. Okay, and there we have our tattoo. Now, obviously it's a little too uh, intense right now, and we're going to fix that by using a blending mode of my layer and also the check uh, adjusting the opacity. Uh, there's a few different blending modes that I look at. I, I always look at multiply, take the opacity down, and that's not bad, but I think there's a better one. And sometimes I'll use two layers in conjunction. Uh, also, I, I always look at pin light, and pin light creates kind of a nice effect too. It's a little bit lighter. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to do two layers of this tattoo. I'm just going to hit Command J to duplicate that layer. So now I have a tattoo copy layer. And it's still set to pin light up here, but I'm going to switch this now to multiply. Okay. Now I'm just going to play around with the opacity of both of these layers. just to get them to blend in to her skin a little bit more. And that's not bad. Cool. You know what? They both look a little too sharp. So what I'm going to do, let's see which one's the most. Let's do, uh, I'm going to click on that tattoo copy, the one on the top, and I'm going to actually just run a little blur on that really, really slight, really, really tiny, tiny, slight blur. I'm going to do 0 0.3 pixels on that top one to blur that slightly. I'm going to do the same thing with the same filter on the one below. And actually, this time I'm just going to do Command F. That's going to repeat that filter that I just ran, and it's going to blur them just a little bit. Cool. Let me just back out. Let you take a look at it. She disappeared. And there is my eye tattoo. Great. Thanks.